So can you use WhatsApp on the iPad but without the iPhone? And let's explain how it works in the latest versions of the software. So if you're new on Fox Tech, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss explanations and videos like this one. Okay, so yes, you can use WhatsApp on the iPad without the iPhone, but at first you need to set it up with an iPhone or even Android, right? But like with a phone number, because uh, after a long time, there is a official application for WhatsApp available on the App Store. Like this has not been the case in the past, right? So it was a bit more problematic, but right now, if you don't have it yet, go to the WhatsApp, uh, like search it up through the App Store and download the latest WhatsApp app. And you can open it up, but as I said, you'll need to use a phone number or like a phone WhatsApp to set that up. So you're going to get like a QR code. You'll be able to scan it through your phone, like go to WhatsApp on your phone and go to linked devices and just add your device there. And once you do set it up, well, your phone is not really required to be around. You know, you can make all of the text and calls and as you would normally do. But as I said, the initial process requires to set up the WhatsApp, right? So in short words, the WhatsApp on iPad is extension of your phone. Like main WhatsApp is just a linked device to the main uh, device, right? But also it's, uh, it's possible to use it without it once you set it up. Another thing which has been recently announced is that like WhatsApp is supposed to bring like handles and like usernames. So perhaps it might change in the future. Like we are, we are not going to be sharing our phone numbers anymore, really, right? The, these are the latest news, but we'll see how it goes. So most definitely stay tuned by subscribing so you don't miss the latest updates. You know, there might be some different things going on in the future. So make sure you stay tuned and I'll see you later in those tutorials as well.